Hi everyone, I'm Chris Frame and welcome back to my channel. The highly publicised and much anticipated relaunch of cruising is already in distress, only weeks after resuming, with multiple coronavirus cases detected on several cruise ships that were sailing with passengers. With COVID-19 still rapidly spreading in many parts of the world, most cruise lines remain in a voluntary cruise pause. Cruise lines such as Cunard, P&O, Princess, Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, Saga, Crystal, Holland America, and many others have all taken a prudent measure to extend their cruise pause into late 2020 or early 2021. Yet despite an effective COVID-19 vaccine being some way off and global travel restrictions still in place in many nations, over the last month there have been a relaxation of restrictions in some areas, leading several cruise lines to recommence cruising in limited geographical regions. The resumption of cruising has been widely covered in cruise blogs, forums and here on YouTube. I released a video about the relaunch of cruising just last week, so for some detailed information on what cruise lines are cruising, you can check that out in the info card or in the description below. But already that video is out of date, as things have changed so rapidly in just the last few days. Hertogruten was one of the first ocean cruise lines to recommence cruising. This is a Norwegian cruise line, and if you hadn't cruised in Europe, you may not have heard of them. Yet Hertogruten's heritage can be traced back to 1893, so it is well established. Today they have an 18-ship fleet, comprising of small ocean-going vessels that offer expedition-style voyages. In order to recommence sailings, Hertogruten implemented a variety of safety measures put in place to assist with social distancing. This included sailing with a reduced capacity, as well as enhanced cleaning practices, a modified food service, health declaration forms, and having the crew undertake the WHO's COVID-19 course covering hygiene practices. For full details, you can check out their website, which I've linked in the description box below. However, despite these efforts, at least 40 people, including both passengers and crew, on board the Roll Almerson, one of Hertogruten's ships that had re-entered service, have been diagnosed with COVID-19. The line says in a media statement on their website that the other 122 crew have tested negative for the virus. This is a huge blow for cruising, and this incident has catapulted cruising back into the media spotlight, with countless news outlets across multiple countries reporting on the situation. Additionally, cruise experts and influencers are also questioning the move, with former Windstar CEO John Delaney taking to Twitter to question the resumption of cruising at this time. I'll link to his tweet in the description box below. In a statement on their website, Hurt and Gruten say that they are working to take care of their guests and crew, with 209 travellers from the ship's first voyage and 178 from the second, needing to self-quarantine. Unsurprisingly, the company has cancelled future voyages, including their planned round Britain cruises scheduled for later this year. Meanwhile, one passenger on board the Paul Gugian cruise ship also tested positive for COVID-19. The 154 metre long ship has docked at Papiete in French Polynesia, while passengers on board the ship were confined to their cabins after the coronavirus case was identified. Carnival Corporation Zaida were planning to restart cruising with large cruise ships later this month. Aida made headlines in recent weeks as several crew were diagnosed with COVID prior to the cruise line taking on board any passengers but the company still had planned to resume cruising in August. However, while the AIDA brand is German-based, the AIDA ships are flagged in Italy, and the Italian authorities have not provided clearance permission for the ships to resume passenger voyages. If this seems a bit confusing, I have another video where I spoke to retired Commodore Christopher Rind to explain how flags of convenience work. You can check that out in the info card or in the description below. But in a nutshell, the cruise ship has to abide by the rules of the nation where it is flagged, which in this case means that AIDA need permission from Italy to resume voyages. As a result, cruises on board AIDA Perla and AIDA Ma have been cancelled, which is another huge PR blow for the industry, though with what's going on at the moment, perhaps it's for the best. In other news, Greece reopened its cruising market in August. Open ports include popular cruising destinations such as Piraeus, Rhodes, Volos and Corfu. Again, this reopening has taken place before any effective vaccine is available, with the success of cruisers reliant on the cruise lines to implement health and safety protocols on board. In contrast, many jurisdictions remain closed to cruise ships. This includes local voyages in the United States, Canada, New Zealand and Australia, to name just a few. 
In fact, some regions have gone so far as to ban cruise ships from local waters entirely, such as Australia, where the cruise ban remains in place. Cruise lines are losing millions of dollars a day, keeping hundreds of cruise ships laid up. But COVID-19 is highly contagious and has a high number of asymptomatic cases, making it hard to trace and meaning that travelling during the pandemic will always have risks. So it begs the question, has cruising resumed too quickly? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. If you're missing cruising and you'd like to relive some cruising memories, check out my cruising review playlist. Or if you're interested in maritime history, take a look at my maritime history playlist. Thanks again for watching and when it is safe for us all to cruise, I hope to see you on board.